I'm here with Charlie Lambis and Evan Dew. Congrats on the win today. Kind of speak on your guys' bounce back. You know Gooley lost to Cloverleaf the other night, and obviously tonight you guys came out and showed out. Evan, you want to speak on that yeah, a little? I just feel like last couple nights we had a lack of energy, and tonight we kind of came out energized, having fun, and I mean, we just played the group tonight, and that was the big thing. Tonight's ball movement was great. You guys got some great open shots. You guys took advantage of the fouls the streets were throwing. Kind of speak on that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, again, it's just that ball movement, that teamwork, we're playing together, not playing by ourselves, we're playing for each other tonight, and I just feel like it's showed out there. And that's why we're able to get easy looks, get easy layups, get foul shots, and stuff like that. Charlie, you were a disruptive force in the paint tonight. You had a couple blocks, massive ones, to help you guys secure the lead going into halftime. Kind of speak on that a little bit. Um, I just know that's my role going in. I know it gets the guys going, more of that energy we are talking about a little bit. So just kind of doing my job the best of my abilities and get our playmakers involved. Obviously, you play quarterback in the fall and you got a big size. Kind of talk about how much of a big advantage that gives you in the paint against these other guys. Um, definitely, definitely helps me a bit. We see in the court as well. I'm taking care of the ball. And it's nice to get to throw my size around a little bit. Football, I'm not the biggest guy. About here, I like to, I like to get after it. You get to lay the hits. Yeah, exactly. For the first time. So I love that. Streets Row takes a lot of threes, and you guys did a good job keeping them mostly in the paint tonight. You guys think you can effectively do that throughout the rest of the yeah, year I mean, with other teams? We, uh, that's what we need to do. I feel like we get hit from three a lot. You know, we need to force things in the post and let Charlie take care of it down there. Really yeah. Something that hurt us a little bit earlier, I mean, I'd say some of our losses came off us, not guarding shooters, guarding threes. So just adjust and do it, yeah. fixing it going forward. How much was a, a surprise tonight that Blake led you guys as team with 14 points? He's really one for playmaker. Yeah, he's open some eyes for sure. Super proud of him. A lot of growth from last year. Yeah, so he's going to keep getting better. Great to see him ball. All right, perfect. Thank you. I'm here with Coach Rick Blevins. Congrats on the win tonight. The other night you guys lost to Cloverleaf by 10, and clearly your boys came out here and bounced back. You want to talk about what happened on practice this coming week going into this game? Not a lot. Uh, I mean, it, it's tough, you know, with one day of prep. You, you can't get in and bury your guys. So, honestly, we spent about 30 minutes having a nice long talk about what we were not on Tuesday night and about being something a little bit different tonight. And our guys responded pretty well. I thought the first four minutes were pretty raggedy um, for us. Uh, we struggled offensively to find anything that was successful. But um, as the game kind of wore on, we were able to do that. And uh, defensively, I thought we made a great effort the entire game, except for the fact that Streets Row made nine threes. So. I don't know what to do about that. Everybody in this county seems to shoot really good in this gym except for us, so we have to figure that part out. But defensively, I thought we did a good job. You guys did a great job only holding them down to 44 points considering they made those nine threes. Street Thrill shoots great from deep boys. And, I mean, obviously you guys did great in the paint tonight. Kind of speak on Charlie Lambis' defensive prowess. Yeah, we, you know, we, we had an advantage in the paint, and we knew that. Um, but it took us a while to figure out that we needed to use it. Uh, I thought in the second quarter he was really big. You know, because it was a, you know, a two-point game either way with about four minutes to go there. And we were able to get in up eight at halftime, and that was, that was just big for our confidence. There wasn't a whole lot of confidence in our room Tuesday night. So we were aware of that, and we needed something good to happen to us. And uh, fortunately, that nice little run at the end of the second quarter kind of carried us through the uh, the third and hopefully most of the fourth quarter. Blake tonight had 14 points leading your guys' team. How big of a surprise is that? It's not a surprise. I mean, it, he is he is able to get to the basket and finish. I mean, he, he probably should have had 20 tonight. He, I mean, he missed three point blank layups that he normally doesn't miss. Um, but he is, he is very adept at getting to the basket. He, he's very adept at using his body and protecting the basketball. And, you know, he, he does those things on a regular basis. So not surprised by that. Um, with the struggles we're having offensively, um, we need somebody that can go outside the offense and get a basket. And Blake's been that guy the last two nights. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you.